if you want to use WAM server to create a website offline, we have to click WAM server. And uh, after that, you have a green WAM server button here. And you click on the green WAM server button. And you see PAP my admin here. Click on that. You come in this screen. The username is root. And the password is none. You, you, you don't have to fill anything, it's just empty. So you click on start. See, this is all, all, all my websites I've created so far. This is a, a 2.5 version of, of uh, Joomla. Well, I will create a new database now. So I, I go to Databanker, the studs for database. And I click a uh, new website. Go to the notepad file I created. A database name. It's a new website. I click on Anmarker. It makes a database. And now you see a new website here. Now that we have created this, the SKU database, we can use it to create an offline website. I already uh, downloaded so the Joomla uh, stable full package. So I, I uh, copy it to the folder of one, which is here. Go to here. Uh, to computer, and you see, see, look, you you click that, and you see one here. So you have to go to start computer, C, and one. The website you create should be in this folder. Now I click on the right button, I click on new map or directory here, map. I create new web, new website. And then I go here, I select everything, I paste it in here. Download the complete, complete uh, contents of the map. And after it's finished, we can install Joomla. And that works the same as online. So once you have created a database, it works the same as creating a website online. And now go back to WAM. I go to localhost. And here you can see all the websites. It's my website, Black or White, Human Sponsors, and Lady Looks. And you see, this is uh, the website I just created. I click on New Website. This is where you install everything. New website. It's the name of the website. Description. My very first website. It's not my very first website, but I fill in something. Your web, your your email address, and your host. dot com. Username, well, you have to fill in something yourself. Password, your new password. Your new, your new password. Well, I fill in my own password. Otherwise, I don't remember it anymore. Uh, I click next here. 
and select match Curly or match Q. Name database it says here. The database name was new website. And we have to fill it in here. We click next here again. Now it says it can't it can't access the database. But uh, you see the, it says uh, password. The, the password should be empty just like when you log in. The username is says to be admin which is also not correct. It should be good. Like when you log in, it's the same as when you log in. Username is good and password is nothing. But online, you will have a username and password, but this is just offline. So next, here you can create example data. I can uh, select, for example, the standard uh, example date, data. I create that. You say uh, here you can uh, click yes and it will send you all your settings to your email address. I click no because it's n not an email address I use. Well, I click installation. It creates the website now, it's installing everything. Now you can delete the installation map or directory. It says installation map, but it's an installation directory. Okay, it's deleted now. Now you can uh, use. The, you can view the website already here. This is the uh, website we've just created. You can you can also go to administrator. This is the administrator part. Click login, and you are now in in your Joomla administrator. So you can see that is the up to date version of Joomla. Joomla is up to date, all extensions are up to date. I haven't installed any extensions myself yet, it's all the default extensions. Now I'm gonna check one again here. I'm going to back to PFE my admin. I go back to a new website. You can see that everything uh, is installed, the database is installed here. And when I created the uh, new database, nothing was in here yet. <clears throat> so this is all for now. The next time I will uh, inform you how to install a template or an extension, where to find extensions. Uh, check back my channel for more information about working with Joomla.